I was hoping to arrange a more official meeting, ideally with the school councillor and with Eleanor herself. Well, what's the problem? Because, you know, usually she sails through school. Well, um, Eleanor wrote her life story, and uh, she's quite insistent that it's true. I don't expect you to be flattered by this, but in it she describes you as a sucreant, which I believe is a sort of vampire. <laughs> well, she has got a great imagination. I hope she gets top marks. Who else has read it? You have sole care of her, don't you? That boy Frank. I bet he's read it. Quite a responsibility for somebody so young. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. So, I shoot the bastard Riven and I nick the map and then what? Well, it ends. She doesn't say, does she? That's because I never told her. Shall we arrange them all? I saw that Riven wasn't dead. I should have killed him then, but I had mercy on the <laughs> Now, hold that thought, because I'll tell you what he did. But first, shall I tell you what it was like for me? Okay. Yeah. It was wonderful. I had eyes that cut through lies, lungs that breathed eternity. I felt I'd lived my whole wretched life just to prepare me for that moment. Oh!